right, right, right. But Any if you're at an all black church and a white person comes in, yeah, they'll they'll stand out. But it's not like they're they're not allowed there. That's right. segregation. You cannot come into the space because you're yeah, and there and there what and there what yeah. There, I mean, there's a black spot in American history, just like there's a black spot in every country, yeah. where yeah, that stuff did exist. Yeah. But at the end of the day, let's keep it 100. Like a black person back in the day didn't even want to go to a white church. <laughs> so even if the white church was like, yeah, we'll start you know doing X, Y, and Z, whatever you want. The, yeah. the black person is still going to say, no, I still want I still want my expression yes. because right. we're talking about we're talking about religious expression. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So people are always on both sides, whether it's black or white. We, we try to give this like this like like Christianity is negative because we can't get around and unite and get along. Believe it or not, all the black church guys and all the white church guys. We all go to the same breakfasts. Mm -hmm. We all go to the same Unity Day prayer things together. Yep. We all go to the same city council things together. Mm -hmm. There's actually a lot of stuff. Now, our church in no means is white or black. is very diverse. But I have friends who have white churches. I have friends who have black churches. And they all go to stuff together. They don't go, right. hey, listen, I'm not going to that to that 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 prayer breakfast if there's any black church guys yeah. there. Yeah. And you gotta I'm not think going, about <laughs> Yeah, you gotta or, think or about the church or whatever, too. right? Yeah. yeah. And oh, I mean yeah. it's a it's yeah, a language that's, thing. That's a good you know, point. I grew up yeah. in a Spanish speaking church. Oh, so that's a great point. We go because we understand the language, we understand, you right. know, how we express ourselves. We're very yeah. expressive, you know, so and that's what you have to understand too. It's it's not necessarily oh we're just trying to create division. I don't want to go to a white church or African American church, you know. So right, I think right. you have. There's so Adam has a good story. With, could you, do you think you could share that? <laughs> Which one? A good story in in connection with that thought. <laughs> The whole like um, how it's 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 like even even in 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 Hispanic oh, yeah, or yeah. black, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. still You're have right, yeah, multitude yeah. of cultures. I mean, like yeah. it's right. not as simple as it's like not Hispanic black, white. black. Yeah, you yeah. have it's like right. there are there yeah. are cultures in Africa that diametrically oppose other cultures yeah. in Africa. So, yeah, anyways, yeah, you yeah. have an illustration about oh, how no. our yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, let's we hear it. Let's hear it. Well, I mean, I always tell people because because people believe that one single church should do everything and reach everyone. Mm. OK. And and what I mean by that in a hyper hyper uh, a hyperbolic sense is I think churches are supposed to reach every one, every type of person. But I don't think they're supposed to reach every individual, i.e. what Caleb just said when he said, I like hymns. If mm. I'm going to choose a church, one of one of my now it may be a big, big prerequisite or it may not. But if for him, it could be where he says, I'm going to go to a church that does hymns. Well, if we're a church that sings Hillsong. No matter how much I try to reach Caleb, right. I, I cannot to. reach right. him right. because he wants a hymn, right? He wants hymns every Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with there's that, right? Wrong. Right. So absolutely. what I tell people all the time, because people will say, I think every church should have a, a Spanish ex church, a Spanish expression. I think every church should reach every these type of people and this mm -hmm. type of people. I say, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so right now, you and I transport to Mexico. Mm -hmm. We're in downtown Mexico City, right? And you and I look at each other and we say, you know what? We need to start an American church here in Mexico. We need an American church. Right. What does an American church look like? You speak English. <laughs> okay. So what else? You, you'd say, I don't know. I have to choose a right. stream. Right. Different cultures. Is it going to be America. a black American right. church? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a white American right. church? Are we going to have tambourines? Are we going to have flags? Right. Are we going to jump? Are we going to shower? Are we going to do hymns? Right. Are we going to do pews? Are we going to do chairs? Mm -hmm. Are we going to do LED walls? Are right. we going to do um, curtains? <laughs> right. Are we and every choice? Catholic, Protestant. Yeah. Catholic, I mean. Protestant, Reformed, <laughs> uh, our Lutheran. Right. Are we going to be Episcopalian? What are we going to be? And every minute decision we make solidifies us more and more into an identity of a stream. So right away, if I said, okay, we're not going to have any LED walls, we're not going to have any bright lights, we're not going to yeah. have any smoke, that immediately, a lot of people. immediately right, in, right. in your head you go, okay, so we're going to head towards more of a contemporary, more of a traditional, we're going to have, you know, violins and, and guitars without any bass. And, okay, and then I say, but then what we're going to do is we're going to allow tambourines. Well, now you're a little thrown off because you're like, oh, I thought we weren't going to have any lights. I thought we weren't going to have any electric instruments. I thought we were going to do acoustic instruments only, but now we can have tamb Man, what do we And the more that I say what elements we're going to have, the more it would give it an identity, right? 
that's a cultural identity. That's a reference. So anyone in America that says, I think an American church should look like blank, go to any other country that is not a melting pot because Mexico is not a melting pot. You go to Mexico, 99% of people there are Mexican. Right. They're either Spanish conquistador um, or roots or their or their indigenous roots. You, you got one or the other, okay? May, maybe some maybe some Portuguese, maybe right. So you go to these countries. You go to the Philippines, right? You're you're, you're talking about kind of single cultural DNAs. But now you go to America. This is the only place where this argument and this criticism begins to exist. Right. And and I think people ought to worship as long as it's biblical, as long as it's scriptural. You should be able to express. And actually, there's been a lot of um um. There's been a lot of uh, socioeconomic studies done on denominations, and it's actually pretty true. So, so what, so what, so what they've realized is, is if you're a wealthier, higher income uh, Christian that identifies to be a Christian, but but you make a, a, a subsequent amount of money, chances are if you make a, a a subsequent amount of money, we would we would all probably agree that they would probably be of a higher intellect, right? Mm -hmm. If someone's very wealthy, they 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 probably are very highly intellectual. They like right. probably like to read. They pro There's a lot of things that go with that, right? right? Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think is their common expression of worship? Well, it's generally with, the, with an intellectual church. So, so, so the average wealthy person who identifies right. as a Christian, they're actually, uh, they're actually a Presbyterian right. mm -hmm. or they're Reformed right. because they, they relate right. to God intellectually. Yeah, that's great. Right. The more you go into minorities, Hispanics, African-Americans, who by and large through history has been on middle to lower income. Right. Generally, our expression, our story, Nancy said it. Others would agree. Nancy said what? We're very expressive. Mm -hmm. We're very shouting. We're very this. So what church are they going to be? They're going to be Pentecostal. Yeah, for sure. They're going to be apostolic right. Right. and emotional. Yeah. They want to go to church and they yeah. want to have an emotional experience. Do and it. you want to know what? They're both right. Right. Yes. They're mm -hmm. both right. Right. Yes. You can go to church on Sunday and not clap your hands once or lift your right. hands in the air and still love God right. with all right. your heart. Right.